Hi friends, welcome to English classes. In previous video, we have discussed about the voice change of four parts of present tense. And in today's video, we will discuss about the voice change of the parts of past tense and future tense. So first of all, past tense. Just like present tense, past tense has also four parts. A. Simple past tense or past indefinite tense B. Past continuous tense C. Past perfect tense and D. Past perfect continuous tense A. Rule of voice change of simple past or past indefinite tense Examples In active voice, I completed my homework becomes in passive voice, my homework was completed by me so here completed has changed to was completed so here you can see that in place of simple past tense verb completed passive form of the verb was completed has been used and here was is the auxiliary verb and completed is the main verb the basic rule of the voice change of simple past tense is subject followed by was or where followed by v3 or the third form of the verb or the past participle form of a verb. Here the usage of was or where always depends on the subject. Some more examples of simple past tense voice change are here. In active voice, they ate the cakes becomes in passive voice, the cakes were eaten by them. Ate has changed to were eaten. In passive voice, the thief was caught by the police has changed to in active voice, the police caught the thief. So here was caught has changed to active voice caught. In the case of an in the case of a negative sentence, in active voice we can see he did not do the work. In passive voice it becomes the work was not done by him. So here did not is the auxiliary verb and do is the main verb. So just like the same was depends on the work which is in which is an auxiliary verb and not is here because of negative sentence and done is the v3 form of do so in these sentences v3 form eaten caught done have been used in place of past power form past form of the verbs ate caught and did rule of voice change of past continuous tense examples are in active voice the musicians was the musician was playing the flute it becomes in passive voice the flute was being played by the musician so was playing has changed to was being played was is the auxiliary verb playing is the main verb here in this active voice sentence but was being is the auxiliary verb of the passive voice sentence and played is the main verb Played is the V3 form of playing. So the basic rule of voice change of past continuous tense is subject followed by was or were followed by being and followed by V3 which is the third form of a verb or the past participle form of a verb. Again as the same the usage of was and were always depends on the subject. Some more examples are in active voice my mother was watching TV becomes in passive voice TV was being watched by my mother. So was watching has changed to was being watched. A story book was being read by Adam. In active voice it becomes Adam was reading a story book. So was being read in passive voice has changed to was reading in active verse. 
the students were not making the plan. In, in passive verse, it becomes the plan was not being made by the students. So, were not making becomes was not being made. Here, where is used because of the students, which is a plural. And was is used because of the plan, which is a singular. So, in these sentences, the V3 form of the verbs watched, read, made have been used in place of the active verse verbs watching, reading, and making. Rule of voice change of past perfect tense. Examples are in active verse, they had finished their job. In passive verse, their job had been finished by them. So, had finished has changed to had been finished. So, the basic rule of voice change of past perfect tense is subject followed by had followed by been followed by v3 or the third form of the verb or past participle form of a verb. Some more examples are in active verse, I had not seen the man before. In passive verse, it becomes the man had not been seen before by me. Had not seen has changed to had not been seen. In passive voice, this product have been used by my friend has changed to in active voice, my friend has used this product. So had been used has changed to had used. In active voice, my brother had tasted this dish has changed to in passive voice, the dish has been changed, the dish had been tasted by my brother. So had tasted has changed to had been tested. D. Rule of voice change of past perfect continuous tense. Examples are in active verse, the players had been practicing the game for months becomes the game had been being practiced for months by the players. So had been practicing has changed to had been being practiced. So the basic rule of voice change of past perfect continuous tense is subject followed by had followed by been followed by being and followed by v3. As use of this tense, I mean to say past perfect continuous tense is very rare in real life. So you can focus less on this rule and give importance on the first three parts of past tense verse change. Next part is the voice change of future tense. There are also four parts of future tense. A. Simple future tense or future indefinite tense. B. Future continuous tense. C. Future perfect tense. D. Future perfect continuous tense. But one thing you have to remember that the usage of future perfect and future perfect continuous tense is very rare in real life. So, we will only discuss about voice change of simple future tense and future continuous tense. A. Rule of voice change of simple future or future indefinite sentence. Examples. In active verse, I will meet his boss becomes in passive voice, his boss will be met by me. So, will meet has changed to will be made. So the basic rule of the voice change of simple future tense is subject followed by shall or will followed by be followed by v3. Again the usage of shall or will always depends on subject. Some more examples are in active verse. My, my father will buy a new car becomes a new car will be bought by my father. So here will buy has changed to will be bought. Bought is the V3 form of buy. In passive verse, a dance will be performed by us becomes we shall perform a dance. So will be has changed to shall 
because will is based upon a dance and shall is based upon we which is a first person singular number first person plural number and will be performed has changed to shall perform so performs v3 form is performed in active verse laziness will not fulfill your dreams has changed to your dreams will not be fulfilled by laziness so will not fulfill has changed to will not be fulfilled so fulfilled is the v3 form of fulfill so the usage of shall and will is based upon the subject as i said you shall and will are the auxiliary verb and the v3 form of main verbs bought performed fulfilled are used in place of the simple future active voice verbs bring perform and fulfill sorry this is not bring this will actually be buy uh, please forgive me for my mistake rule of voice change of future continuous tense example in active voice the new teacher will be teaching the students becomes in passive voice the students will be being taught by the new teacher so will be teaching has changed to will be being taught so the basic rule of voice change of future continuous tense is subject followed by shall or will followed by be followed by being followed by v3 as i said you that shall and will the usage of shall and will will always depend on the subject some more examples are i am save i shall saving i shall be saving money for my new book has becomes money will be being saved for my new book by me so shall be saving has changed to will be being saved in passive voice agra and delhi will be being visited next month by my family my family will be visiting agra and delhi next month so passive voice will be being visited has changed to active voice will be visiting in active verse i shall not be joining my new job till next month has changed to my new job will not be being joined till next month by me so shall not be joining has changed to will not be being joined this is a this is an example of negative sentence so please note that so as well you can see that in place of future continuous tense verbs saving visiting joining the v3 forms of the verbs saved visited joined have been used so friends this is all for today we have discussed about the past and future tense active voice and passive voice sentences and the rules of voice change in my next video i will again discuss about voice change of many more sentences like um, question sentence and uh, the usage of modal verbs and imperative sentence voice changes so please stay with us subscribe to our channel and keep up with our channel to watch more videos about english grammar and other things for competitive exams and also for the school students thank you that's all for today bye bye